Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. I am Isha standing before you to share a fast forwarded journey of my life. A very great Greek philosopher said, the only thing that's constant in life is change. And I am the epitome of this quote. My life is in a series of four episodes. The first one being the ironic innocence. Long, long ago, not very long ago, like 23 years back, 16 November, in a place called Kurg, I was born. Anybody who doesn't know what a place called Kurg, or who hasn't visited, okay, anybody who hasn't, it's high time you plan your trips. I stayed there for around 3-4 years, and hence it became the battleground for my notoriousness. As a kid, I used to sleep during the day, and the moment my parents used to go to sleep, I used to start crying. And I used to cry so loud that the entire colony couldn't sleep. And I used to go on until my parents made me sleep with our maid. And only she could put me off to sleep. After three years, there was another phase that came up where I had to face this new creature. All of a sudden, he pops out from nowhere, who happens to be my three years younger brother. <laughs> and while I was sent to kindergarten, he used to stay at home and he used to grab all the attention at home, be it relatives or parents, they loved him the most. And I was very angry with this. One day on the day of my exam, I told I, I fought with my mom and I told her I'm not writing my exam. She very coolly said, don't write. I actually didn't write. And my teacher saw my paper and it was blank. And she got shocked. And then my parents were called. My mom saw the paper, even she was shocked. And now when I look back at my own childhood stories, I get so scared and I hope history doesn't repeat itself, at least here. And I don't have to go through all those sleepless nights like my parents did. Then comes episode 2. I would call it the making of Isha. I did my schooling in Mysore and from my first standard to fifth standard, I was very silent, less talkative, minimal friends. And people used to look at me and they used to tell me, she's so much like a father. Who happens to be very silent again? After sixth standard, I have no idea what got into me. Probably all the tries of my mom started showing up. I started talking so much, I used to have so many friends that when I was in 11th and 12th, my mom was really worried. She thought I wouldn't do my board, board papers well. You know, I used to, I was never a person who used to sit day and night and study. I was very playful, but somehow I managed to top my class. I don't know whether I was actually good at academics or that I was in a dumb class. So either way, something was working out for me. But what I'm, whatever I am today is because of my schooling. and. That is why I would call this episode as the making of Isha. And the third episode is enlightenment. When I was in 11th standard, during the holidays, my principal asked me if I wanted to write a paper, uh, board papers for a blind guy. So I agreed, but I didn't know the seriousness of this entire process. Then, but then this person was so good at his subjects, he used to make me write 40, 50 pages every day. And I don't remember writing 40, 50 pages for my own exams. And for that year, he taught Karnataka, for, you know, he was above all the non, thousands of non-blind students. And for the first time, I felt so good about myself. Then I realized there was so much happiness and satisfaction in actually helping the helpless. Then came uh, episode number four, which was a roller coaster ride. I joined National Institute of Engineering, where Santosh also studied. Just that I passed out years after he passed out. <laughs> and, and then time flew so fast. And I was in third year, and there was this day, 16 November again, 16 November, my birthday. So on this day, Mutola came to our campus, and I had this ambivalent feeling. I actually wanted to use mixed feeling, but he said it was ambivalent, so I stick to ambivalent feeling. And I thought, if I attempt to write, and if I don't clear the paper, my time is wasted, I'm going to be disappointed, and my worst birthday ever. But I had to take risk. I went to the paper, and fortunately, Fairy tales do come true sometimes, and I cleared the paper. 2008 August, I joined Motorola, and again I was in his team, I didn't first, and then I was moved to Sunil's team, Windows Mobile. <laughs> then with all the recession and layoff happening, I was again moved to Abhishek's team. <laughs> so today, in one and a half years time, I was moved to three different teams, and today I work with Abhishek in POC. Now when I look back at my past, I get amazed as to how I changed from a notorious kid to a more friendly and a peaceful person.
but it is a perfect story to witness that the only thing that's constant in life is change. And this change today has made me break the ice too. Over to you, Toastmaster.